how you guys find motivation in doubters. Oh, and, yeah. And to follow up on a previous question, like how does, why would anybody doubt you guys? You guys are coming off a national championship, have a good nucleus of the team back. One, why would anybody doubt you guys? And two, do you know who they are? Do you, do you see it, hear it? Um, I mean, you know, we, we try to stay within our program mostly. Um, so we not try, try to look outside, look to the media, look at people that are, you know, saying the negative things about us, you know, if they are. Um, but, you know, I could, I could see why there are reasons that, you know, people could doubt us. Not that I, not that I believe in those. But, um, you know, we lost, we did lose players that were vital to that team last year. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of scary, a team coming off a big, a big season like we did, to have a letdown because, you know, you don't want guys to think they've arrived or be entitled to, uh, you know, winning games. You know, there's a reason we won the games and there's a reason we had the season we did. It's because of our culture and the culture that's been built here. Um, and that's what, that's what the whole season was established on. So while I do realize there are doubters, um, and you know I, I get, you know their reasoning. Like I don't, I don't believe in it, and you know nobody in that locker room believes in it. You know, especially today at practice, there were guys out there flying around, and going full speed, and uh, you know I think that was good to see. Rock roll, awesome. Taylor, was there any significance to you guys as players to have Braxton out there, even just for warmups? Like that's all we saw today. Yeah, I mean it's it's just good because you know people know his face around here. You know, even, you know, the young guys coming in, everybody knows Braxton, uh, you know, knows what, what a great player he uh, has been here. And, um, you know, it's been a while since he's been able to be out there with us, really. Um, and just have him out there just running around, just having his presence, um, just having veteran guys, you know, that can be comforting for some people, I'm, I'm definitely sure. In the locker room, is that, how much conversation is there outside? We're all talking about three quarterbacks in this derby that could go on through August. For you guys as players, how much attention None, because um, like first of all, you know everybody has their own things that they need to be focusing on. You know, you know a big focus of mine is is to make sure you know that offensive line is at that level of play that they are, and you know who's going to be the right tackle, and you know we have to you know rotate some guys through there because we don't have as much depth. So and there's a lot more other focuses for the players, and you know I'm going to let the coaches figure that out. I know we got three great quarterbacks that can all play, and whoever they throw in there, I know will be fine. And, uh, you know, that's for the coaches to figure out. And, I, you know, I just do my job. Front row, Kim. Who is going to be the right tackle? Number one, if you look at your group specifically, obviously, uh, Jacoby's, you know, had his surgery and stuff. He's sidelined. But uh, what do you see from that group, but especially starting at right tackle? Well, I mean, just, just today, like jogging out there, not that it's finalized, you know, Chase was in that spot. And um, he had an amazing offseason. Um, I've always loved the way he works. I've always been a big fan of his, and you know he's one of my friends. So um, you know I'm I'm really excited to see him get a shot at that spot because um, if he wins it, he'll definitely be deserving. And you know then there's Jamarco. You know he's a younger guy, but tons of potential. He's incredibly talented, and um, you know I just think that he just needs to figure out how to practice more. You know he has streaks, and you know he'll he'll show you flashes of like wow this kid could be a really great player, um, but I think the consistency is a, is a big thing for him. Who are a couple of the younger guys in the, in the line room that you think are stepping up this year? I mean, Kyle Trout was out there a little bit. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, Kyle had been sick a little bit, so he was, you know, backed off a little bit today because you know he'd lost some weight. You know, he's still fighting off whatever it was. But you know, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really excited to see what what Jamarco has because you see that kind of potential that he could have. And then, um, you know, I think, um, you know, Marcellus Jones is probably the best athlete in our room. He's an unbelievable athlete. That kid can run and. He can cut, he's fast, and it's just a matter of him getting down the playbook and making the conscious decision to want to learn that, to want to be able to play. Because that kid, he, like I said, he's probably the best athlete in the room. Um, and for, his, for a big a guy as he is, that's really impressive. Um, yeah, I, the one thing I love about Evan is he is really mean on the field. You know, he, he'll, he'll take things personal. And uh, he's gritty. You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna blow you away with his measurables or you know him running or things in the weight room. But he just grinds out there. You know, he's a gritty guy. And um, you know, I you know out there today, you know, he was he was plugged in at that right guard spot. And uh, you know, he he can do some impressive things. Um, you know, and, and come, him coming off the injury last year, hopefully he's hungry to try to compete for some playing time. Front row, Dave. 
What are your thoughts on Ed Warner taking over as the offensive coordinator? I'm sure the offense won't change much, but just what are your thoughts on Coach Warner taking over as the offensive coordinator? Well, I mean, first of all, I'm super. Ha I'm happy for him because I know, like, he, you know, he he deserves something like that, a promotion like that. And I know that, you know, when Coach Herman uh, told us he was leaving, that I knew Coach Warner wanted that spot because he'd been an OC before. Um, I'm completely confident in his ability to do that. Um, and I know that there's a lot of responsibility for him coaching the O-line while, you know, calling the plays because, you know, he's got five guys out there on the line that he's responsible for and he's responsible for calling the plays and get the offense going. But and if there's any coach on the staff, it's him that can do that. Um, so I have the utmost confidence in him. And, you know, him when Coach Herman was still here, uh, they, they kind of coordinated things together. Um, you know, I know Coach Warner did a lot of the run game. He, I mean, I think he coordinated the entire run game. Um, and then Coach Herman was, you know, he was the one calling plays. And, you know, they would go back and forth on the, the headsets, you know, what do you want here? So it wasn't like it was it was just one person. And, um, you know, yeah, Coach is going to call the plays, but there's going to be some help out there on the field, I definitely think. Did you talk to you much about being a coach on the field, so to speak, as a senior, a three-year starter, that you need to be a kind of a coach on the field for him? Yeah, even going into the last year, um, it's a huge lead-by-example thing because um, you can chirp all you want. But you got to be out there leading by example because, you know, if you're going to say one thing and you're not going to do it and you're going to slack off and not going to set that example, you can't tell other guys to do that. So, um, you know, I kind of want to help him set that standard because I know he has more responsibility and I think I can take on more responsibility out there on the team, you know, especially like I think Pat can too, um, you know, him being a returning starter. Um, so, you know, we got, we, I think we can help him out out there for sure. And last couple of questions. Front row left, Doug. How is Urban Meyer different as a coach after a national championship compared to what you experienced with him before? Same guy. I mean, you know, we, we're supposed to win championships around here. That's, that's what we do. Uh, we come out every year to compete for championships, uh, whichever ones they may be. Um, but he's not going to change what type of guy he is because there's the type of guy he is and the type of program he runs and the culture he, that they've established here is why we've been able to, you know, win, win as many games as we have. So, you know, he is the same guy. Um, you know, he's not going to change, you know, he was incredibly happy. We had our, our champions meeting, you know, after we won and called out the champions for the game. And, um, you know, he'll recognize you and he'll recognize those guys for their efforts. But he's not going to change the type of person or the type of program or the culture that we're going to have around here. And final question. Uh, Bill? When you walked out today, did you notice the national championship sign? Did you? Oh, uh, we knew right when that went up. Uh, you know, he told us uh, even before we went down there, he said, it, you know, after we win this game right here, this is the spot that it's going. Um, so, you know, we, we've seen that. out. That's been out there when we're running and whatnot. And, um, you know, to know that we're kind of immortalized here, it's such a storied program, you know, it's pretty unbelievable. What's it like to, to know that you're back on the field and that's the last time you were on the field, you were pursuing that and you got it? Um, I mean, I, I actually I had a lot of fun out there today, even though we were, we were in pads. Um, you know, even though it's been kind of a quick turnaround because it was a long season. But you know, that's that's what we love doing. We love getting out there and playing. And uh, I think you know, you realize that we have to start that next journey for next season. We can't we can't idle because of what we did last season. So uh, just getting back out there and getting back to work. You know, it was fun just getting out there running around because that's what we, we we love playing football. That's what we love to do. Um, so just to get back out there doing that with your friends, um, a lot of energy. It was fun.